Legend of Total War here with a new campaign series for Rome Total War. So those of you who follow me on Facebook knew this campaign was coming and you also know what faction I'm going to play as because you guys voted for it. So we're playing as the Imperial Campaign and we're playing as SPQR as per what you guys voted for. Um, where are they? Oh, they're not fucking here. Oh, I haven't unlocked them in the strat file. Um, I guess I'll just have to play as Carthage then. Last night, the crying of the children kept me awake, and I had a terrible vision. I saw the fall of our city, bleached bones under a harsh sun. Carthage, gone! Why would Baal send such a vision? He is not cruel. He has watched over us. We have had victories aplenty in war. Our merchants sail to all corners of the world. And yet now, I fear I cannot help it. We are the envy of lesser people. They tell terrible lies about us. They do not understand, so they lie. But the Romans, they are the masters of falsehood. War will come, I am sure of it. So. I will have no more false visions, and I think the children will be quiet tonight. April Fools, motherfuckers. Of course I was going to play as Carthage all along, so just for those of you who don't, um, don't follow me on Facebook, we did a, two rounds of voting on which, which factions I should choose for, um, for the next uh, Rome Total War play. Both times, both, throughout both votes, Carthage won. And by the second vote, they won by a clear majority. But then I did a post saying that I was going to play as SPQR. And this is all part of an elaborate joke because that's April Fool's Day. You fucking idiots. Anyway, I was always going to play as whatever you guys voted for. Alright, so, fuck. Uh, what I'm going to do here... Oh, shit. Um... Um, plan on attacking Scipio because obviously I, I know roughly where everyone starts off at to uh, their starting position and Scipio have a good starting position for if I draw out. Now we're probably not going to actually be able to achieve a draw out because in Rome Total War the enemy they tend to run away very early in the battle if it's not going their way but that doesn't mean we can't still get a good victory on them. It's about here I think. Yep. That should do it. And then we'll try and get him in here. And if we're lucky, the gates are open. If we're not not lucky, they won't be open. So yeah, today is April 1st for me. And I'll upload this right away. So that it'll still be April 1st by the time you guys get it. Because obviously I'm ahead of time for most of you. And of course, you're probably noticing, you know, the, the thumbnail and the, the title descriptions all completely wrong. Don't worry, tomorrow it's going to say Carthage. It's all a joke. Mighty General! Mighty General! Alright. Come over here. Let's see what mercenaries we can get. These hoplites could be useful. And, uh, whatever. It's it's I traditional for, um, Sire. Carthage to get mercenaries. Yes, attack a neutral faction. Odds are slightly not in my favor, but that could be a good thing. It means that. They'll, um, they'll continue to fight us. Now, we've got a big advantage here in that, for one thing, our general is better. That being said, it's on the hardest difficulty, so we'll still have morale penalties. And another thing is that uh, we've got elephants, which, as long as we don't get them killed, could actually be really good for killing their cavalry. Now, let's see here. Uh, there's a massive high ground up this way. So let's set up. Okay, I need to reorganize this. We've got a heap of variety of units. It would be best if we wiped out the first army, maybe before the second one even showed up. But then again, I've done this in the, done this kind of stuff in the past. And if you wipe out the first army too early, the second army will just be like, oh, fuck this and get out of there. Whereas if they unite, they'll... You could probably get a mass route going, and then, of course, they can't get away. Problem is, though, if that happens, we might not even be able to beat them. If they get together. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. So 
So you're probably also thinking, wow, there's so many fucking new series coming out. Yeah, well, you guys have earned it, I guess. Taking off your ad block and such. Well, a lot of you have. I'm sure not all of you did. Um, but then again, a lot of you also donated, and it is greatly appreciated. It allows me to concentrate more on my work without having to stress about bills and stuff like that. Because I do do this full time, and it is a lot of work. It's not just a case of playing games. I spend a lot of time answering emails, which, let's face it, I don't have to do that. Well, I do if I want to become a good, uh, big channel. The enemy have proved their oh, but what am I done? They have Are they going to come at me? As if numbers mattered. I hate these units, but they have their use. Okay, I want to send my general and cavalry to go and take out their missile units. Specifically their archers, though. Not necessarily... Because if we can get rid of them, then our elephants could potentially wipe out the Hastati and the enemy general with ease. Now, the biggest problem with, with this particular campaign, as in Rome Total War Vanilla... Here's morale. Oh god. Yeah, they're coming after me, are they? Maybe they're not. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. This isn't really working in your favor now. Get out. Okay, if he wants to chase us for a little bit, that should be fine. Getting him tired could be a good thing, especially if we keep them fresh. So we'll send him on a bit of a wild goose chase. Okay, they're shooting at him, so we need to get a bit of distance before they start shooting at the round shield cavalry as well. He's still fucking fresh. Okay, turn around and kill him. Oh shit, my general's right in the thick of that. He's gonna get killed. Attack! Elephants, get over here. I need some assistance. No, that's not elephants. Yeah, you get over here and help as well. We just need that little bit of extra oomph, plus they'll be fresh. Don't fire at will. Okay, okay, everything's happening very fast. God, kind of got used to EB. Alright, you go get rid of him. That should be easy for you. You help as well. Don't use your missiles yet because... Whatever. Okay, they should break with ease. Okay, we got Hastadi coming in over here. You should... Oh, shit. Get out of there, get out of there. They, they've still got javelins. Okay, absolutely need to get rid of the Velites before we send the cab uh, elephants in to go get rid of these. Actually, you know, I'll send them in now. That was very close. Tim. No, 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 don't, don't fire yet. I reckon they'll turn around and piss off soon. I should send some of these guys off the battlefield. Just, just leave. I don't need them. They're, they're not going to help anyway. You guys need to come over here. Just give them that little bit of extra shock before they shoot. You need to be very quick, because there's this hard those pillar, they'll kill an elephant maybe. They didn't. No 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 no. Okay, good. God, sometimes they charge in head on and just get themselves killed on the charge, but no, he's alright. Alright, the first army's dead, and we're still okay. You know what? You don't need to leave. You don't need to leave. They're not running away. Strangely enough, they're not running away. Okay, now my cavalry need a bit of a rest, because we have to kill that general. That's our next target. If we can kill him, the rest of it will be very easy. 
man, it's so much faster than EB. God damn it. Which, you know, I kind of like. I think there's more skill involved in a quick battle. Some people say, you know, there's more skill involved in a slow battle, but I disagree. You need to make much faster decisions. Like, in a slow battle, you get time to, hmm, should I do this or should I do this? You gotta have a fucking cup of tea before you need to make a decision. But in this, no, you gotta be quick. Alright, now I want you to be shooting at the enemy general if you can, but I need to make sure you're in range. As for these guys, they're probably going to shoot their Pila, or Pile, or whatever, however it's pronounced, I don't give a shit. Need to recover their fatigue. I don't want to shoot them with, with them. Okay, you can fire at will, that's fine. Alright. Alright, I guess if you want to shoot them a little bit, that's fine. I don't know. No, it's not going to help. Just Killing the enemy general is what we need to be doing. When's he going to be in... Oh, he's not going to be in range for a while. Just shoot them. Actually, no, if we shoot them, the problem is that they might get scared and run away. Which I'll be able to catch these guys, but he's who I need to kill now. Now, my cavalry is obviously a little bit on the shit side now. I'll send him around to maybe go and skirmish a bit. Try and harass this son of a bitch. But also, we don't want him to get too tight because we might need him to run them down. Because our guys here certainly aren't going to be able to do it. So, decisions, decisions. We need to make good ones. Okay, I want you two to go get in combat with him. You stay close to him. Okay, and you lot, if I can kill this general of theirs. You just make sure they cut you cut off their retreat. What the fuck happened there? Whatever, I don't care, they're weak. Just stay close by oh maybe my own unit shot him. Now we see some famous Roman courage. Their leader is running away! Didn't kill him, but we can catch him, hopefully. Ah, oh, you fucking elephant, stop dying on me. Get back. Oh, thank you, motherfuckers. Well done. Soldiers rejoice and the Romans despair. Well then, it worked. We get a draw out battle. Um, it's a victory because they they can't escape now. There's no way these guys are going to get away in time. Nearly got our general killed, he got fucked up, so did he, but it's, it's worth it, I think. Nice quick fight. Percentage-wise, how did we go? 16%. Not bad. I hope it doesn't destroy the Skippy Eye, though. I'm fairly sure they start off with three, three uh, family members. Because if they're eliminated on turn one, then that means it's going to be rebel-controlled. I want them to keep killing because it'll give them more experience. No, 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 don't, don't shoot. You're gonna shoot my own, my own cavalry. Your victory is complete. No man can take any credit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's great. If they're not be. We're never going to walk out of that with no casualties, but boy, we embarrass the Romans in this one. Well, that ends the first Punic War. Victory, oh no, we can't get in there. My Hang on, let me just see this. Mighty yes, we can. All right. And I think we should enslave them. This land is ours. Didn't recover any of them. They recovered a few. So what have we got available here? Ah, garbage. So, retinue expand. Cool. Alright, now it's likely that the other Roman families will want to declare war on us as well. Bring it on, bitch. Actually, I could really use some more troops. How do you go with command? Alright, what we need to do firstly, recruit a unit of peasants so we can leave this settlement behind.
What about you? Do you want to come in as well? Mighty General. Oh, you're not even going to be able to catch up. Just seeing what I've got here. We'll have to deal with the Numidians, that's for sure. And Spain. How much territory does Spain start off with? I don't think it's much. These generals are not great. Okay, so if I was just to recruit a unit of peasants here, could that maintain the public order? Because I want to come around this way. Yeah, it could maintain public order. Plus, we could always lower the taxes. Okay, now we want to rec uh, build to bail because of law and public order. Go around this way. That way I can make watchtowers around here and be able to see what comes through around the coast, if anything. Should I recruit a diplomat? What for? No peace with Rome. Stables, they didn't give us round shield cavalry. I need to learn what they've got. So then there's long shield cavalry, just having a look at the difference. So they've got good morale, which is obviously a lot better. Their stats are a lot better as well, so yeah, that could be a priority to go and get, because they're not very good. I mean, they're fast, but as you can see, they, they kind of, well, they did kill one general, and then they were just, they got smashed by javelins or something. Then we get, there's no difference there. Sacred Band Cavalry. Not as good as Praetorian Cavalry, but we're not going to give the Romans a chance to get Praetorian Cavalry because I'm going to hold Rome before, I don't know, before too long. And we can recruit troops as we go. I mean, if we can get to uh, Tarentum here, that'll be good. Um, maybe I should actually recruit. To be honest, either way, they're, they're garbage. Probably best not even bringing any of those, to, you know, those kind of troops to the fight. Syracuse will likely have some troops available there. That'll take three turns to build. It's likely that the Scipii will will want to uh, attack us after that. Ready to sail. Yes, mighty lord. I'll need the ferry in to attack the Brutii. There's bound to be some mercenaries in the area. Alright, I'm going to... Let's see. Iberian infantry. No, they're not... Is that what these are? They're not very good. I mean, they broke pretty early. Let's go. Let me just see what the building browser says about um, Iberian infantry, then Libyan spearmen, crap. And then we get Poeni infantry, which. I don't know. They're okay, I guess. They're the equivalent of Triarii. And is that the best we can get in regard to infantry? Well, we'll just have to rely on our cavalry. Now, as for elephants, we can only recruit elephants in regions that actually traditionally have elephants, like Carthage. So Carthage, if we want to get elephants, we'd need to build this. Get um, So there's armored elephants. They're a hell of a lot more expensive. There's, war ele there's elephants, war elephants, and then armored elephants. So elephants cost 200 in upkeep, 280 in upkeep, I mean. Um, 490, which is a lot. 590. I think I'd rather go with that because that little bit of extra armor and it's a much bigger elephant as well. Alright. So, still trying to decide because these early decisions do make a big difference. No, no, no. We need troops. This is the frontier here. So, let's... um. What do I need? Infantry or... Hang on, how we, how would we go for archers? So, hang on. Gives us skirmishers, slingers, onagers. So you don't get any archers. Fair enough. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't use onagers. Let's go with cavalry. Cavalry's still the way to go. Alright, I'm going to bring this guy in as well. Just leave behind... Let's see if we can leave behind just one unit of peasants. Because this settlement's not likely to come under attack. And if it was... Yeah, it'll be fine. 
build a watchtower here maybe because visibility is important yeah what can we same kind of shit here as well I wouldn't worry about it too much let's just get Temple of Baal yeah, I'm certainly going to need good troops from Carthage so let's upgrade the cavalry stables yeah um Actually, we don't need don't need public order here right now. We, what we really need is the settlement to grow, so get the land clearance. And then we're out of money. Okay. It would be good if we can combine some of these troops to send them up this way, so... I don't feel like I need these guys here. So if we left behind the town militia, let me see. Yep, just... Recruit a unit of peasants, that'll be fine, so that you can bring these, even though they're garbage infantry. Meet close to the port, because this guy is going to um, pick you up so you can go and fight the Romans. I mean, if you're going to go to war with someone, you might as well really go to war with them. Hopefully the Numidians don't bother us for a while. Okay, I'm sure we'll just... Uh... Alright, I'll just leave a unit... Well, I'll just leave these two behind for now. Doesn't need a governor. There's nothing there. So where's the capital? Carthage? Sounds right. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Trade rights. Sure, if you give me 1,000. That tends to be a, a good amount. Alright, you want to you play it that way, do you? Alright, how about 500? Bitch. Alright. Split the difference and say 300. They'll give me 140. Alright, I'll accept that. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need map information. What are they doing? Are they planning to attack me at Lilibium? Transgression, SPQR. Fuck you, SPQR. Um, so we're now the largest faction. Yeah, the other Roman families have joined in. He does come with quite a large bodyguard. Titus, uh, sorry, Tiberius Brutus. Can we get to him this turn? Let's see. Okay, can we lower the, dis lower the taxes here? Yep, it's fine. You should stay here for the turn. Alright, now can... Oh. Yeah, if we sail around over here, we can get to him. It's kind of dangerous what we're doing. Our ship's probably going to get sunk. Unless you guys can get off here. No. No, I'm going to have to land them there. Oh, well, if I lose this ship, I don't give a shit. Yes, my dear lord. So yeah, the infantry won't be able to besiege that properly. Now they might bring some forces down here, so we just need to be ready. Make sure we hire up all the mercenaries in the area, which there's not many. Oh, I forgot to bring the spy. Would he have been able to get in? Let's we'll see. It's just hindsight, really. Yeah, he would have. There's no guarantee he would have actually opened the gates, though. It's fine. We're pretty much out of movement anyway. Alright, so... Cavalry, this, this. Missile units. I'll hire that mercenary. Ready to sail! Sire! Sire! And then you try to get out of there. Because I want to try and ferry these guys over here as well. Otherwise, I need to wait for this ship. Okay, much more concerned with fighting the Romans, but this guy here is a bit of a concern. We could beat him. What have we got in here? Two generals. They got some pike infantry and some missile units. Yeah, I guess we could. 
Why not take Syracuse? That'll give us a good base of operations. Alright, and also give us a port. And I can recruit cavalry from here, but we'll be able to recruit at Masana soon anyway. The population here is good enough to get a few loads of cavalry. About 10. Alright, now what? These guys here are stuck here. Increase the taxes, because I need the money. Okay, got any corruption here? Yeah, but it wouldn't be a big deal to leave it just as it is. Read the population growing. Better get a port. Let's just build trying to bail to begin with. And increase the taxes. Need my cash. Can't build in all settlements. I'll increase the taxes here as well. And here. Actually, no, no. We want to keep the population growth as good as possible. My Prepare for battle. Oh, we've got elephants! Fucking hell, they are battering rams. But some people were yelling at the TV, uh, the monitor going, you've got elephants, they're fucking mobile battering rams. Well then, that makes things easier. Now, I'm not sure if they can actually knock down the wall. I know they can knock down a gate. We did not seek war. Yes, we did. We fucking sought this war very much. Okay. Oh, I didn't really check to see what we're up against, so just to stand back. Yes, they they can attack walls. So what have we got here to deal with? We've got Velities, okay. I'll get my, those guys to deal with them. We've got Hastati and of course the general himself. Alright, well let's deal with the Velities first. Let's go shoot them. But outrange them of course. Because we certainly do need to get rid of them. If we want to use the elephants. Because the elephants will wreck the enemy, um, general. I don't want you firing up. Oh, I already turned them off. Slingers and EB have so much more range. Okay, hang on. We're in range now. Shoot him. It'd be good if, if these guys could just manage to kill all of them. That would be great. Units are so... Might, so, um, not as durable in vanilla as they are in EB. Well, maybe just armor rankings just aren't as, as high. EB is like, you do a whole volley in them, they don't even take much damage. Right, coming back. We've also got pikemen as well. I don't think they'll perform that well against, um... I mean, they should, technically, but I don't know. I don't like pikemen. As if you're watching my uh, EB campaign, you'll know that I fucking hate pikemen. It's a bit risky sending these guys in right now, because if they shot at them, that would be very bad. Which is why I brought these guys here, to try and stop them. Okay, hang on. Stay back, stay back. Because we're not shooting at them. Oh, because we're not firing at will. Like I said, get rid of the villages first before we risk the elephants. If you wouldn't mind killing some of the enemy general, that would be great as well. But it's this guy here that I want to get rid of first. Good. Belearic Slingers are fantastic units. They got tons of ammunition and they do so much damage. 
I don't think we've killed any of the general's bodyguard yet, but that's okay. Even if they're just taking out this unit here, that's good enough for me. Come on, you shit. Also, vanilla runs so much smoother than EB. I guess there's more detail in EB. But, that being said, I don't care about graphics, so... I'd much rather get performance. And for an old game like this to struggle with EB is kind of annoying. Come on, one more. Alright, good. And we've still got half our ammo left. Alright, now you can knock down that... that gate. stay there. So they're just going to sit in the in here, are they? How do I want to go about this? Alright, let's try and use the... Um, hang on. Just stop for a moment. If I was to send in the elephants, and all of them were to die, I would get them back if I, if I wasted the Iberian infantry. And the thing is, I could probably retrain these Iberian infantry here. Or maybe I'll wait them. So, okay, I will do that. I'll send in the elephants because they'll be the first to die. And so with um, the way recovery works, you get 15% of your, your first units that die back. And because these guys are... It's just 20. So if all 20 of them die... I just need to do the sort of maths on this. If 20 of them die, then I need to throw in about another 120 of these guys to die as well. In order to get every last one of them back. That being said, it doesn't matter if I don't get all of them back. Get organized, bitches. Now, they might go berserk, but if they go berserk near the enemy, fine with me. I just hope they don't actually break, which is why we need to keep our general somewhat close. But if they go berserk, get the fuck out of there. And maybe just have them um, kill themselves. Alright, let's slow down. They have taken out the Velites, their best unit that they could have used against the, ele the elephants have been taken out. But I don't usually use elephants, because I'm used to playing as like the Romans or something, so... I'm not too sure what these guys are going to do. I guess we'll see. Once they go berserk, charge in there, I guess we'll see. Does loose formation really help? Shaken. Not good. Not good. Come on, get in there. Get nice and close. I don't want them getting broken. There we go. The general's really helping there. We didn't get a charge in, that's for sure, but that's okay. We are still wrecking enemy general's bodyguard. That's what we wanted to do. Like I said, these guys will be revived using my necromancer skills. I don't want to send my general in there to help, because if these guys go berserk, well, we're gonna get fucked. See? Get away, get away, get away. Okay, now we don't want to just um, end the battle right here. Can get out of here. What are they thinking? Going after the elephants like that? Okay, everyone get out of their way. Because I don't want to kill them if I don't have to. Okay, everyone get out of the elephant's way. I 
Maybe I should have taken some peasants with me. Ugh, gonna get them. That means I would have had to wait there for another turn. So just let them go out. Oh, they're gonna get shot by towers. Possibly. So stay away from them for now. Let them leave. Because if I, if I, um... If they get killed, well, if they don't, if they live, then I don't have to get as many of my other guys killed to revive all 18 of them that died. So let them go. Oh, I tell you what, I hate these units. I'll send them in to die. I only hired them because they were available. So let them go. Also, it would be a good idea to let some of the general's bodyguard die, because that'll also contribute to the recovery. So, I mean, some of them will recover just based on what we've already lost. But, of course, we want to recover all of them. So we need... If it's 15%, then... I don't know, my maths in this regard isn't very good. More than 100 need to die. Shaken, but they should be able to beat these guys. Come on, shoot him. It's okay, as long as they're not shooting. Well, you know what? If they want to shoot at my general, it's fine as long as he doesn't die. Right, hold your position, just keep shooting. Okay, this is working for me. Remember, we want these guys here to die. Okay, at least they got all their ammunition off. Now they come a bit of a fight. Every last one of my guys. Bring my elephants back to life, weirdly enough. Right, no. Now, is that enough? That's the question. So, that was about 160 dead. I think it is enough. I think. What's 15% of 160? 10% well, of it's 16. I need to revive 18. I'll send these guys in to die as well. So yeah, I might not be reviving all of the elephants, but that's okay. I have to revive every last one of them. God, Hastati wrecked them. It's okay. Right. I don't want them to be completely wiped out as a battalion, so... Because I can just retrain them later. There we go. Now, the elephants. Let's have a look. All of them recovered. And a little bit extra. Okay, so I probably didn't even need to, to waste any of them. He must have, like, a doctor or something. Which I probably should have checked before going into the fight. Think enslaving them is the way to go. Now, what can we get from here? Oh, just town militia. No, it's to rent him where we need to be. Oh, you can keep moving, can you? Whatever, we can we can make it from land, by land, from this point on. All right then. So we could merge them, but don't forget, if we can find a town with an actual barracks, we could retrain them, and I'm fairly sure I could do it from here. So we'll probably want to build a trying to bail. 
so that we can leave here as soon as possible. And if we take Tarentum, it's quite possible we've eliminated the Brutii. However, I'm going to take a break here and end the video. So guys, like and subscribe. Part 2 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.